Question number three. A backup administrator is investigating poor performance when copying backups through the newly deployed Veeam VAN accelerators. Over a one gigabit VAN link, so this is a pretty fast VAN link we're talking about here. Test using iPerf now, in case you don't know what iPerf is, this is a, a, a network performance tool. Very, very cool stuff actually. Give, give it a look afterwards if you're not familiar with it. Uh, so test use this to show full bandwidth is available. So, so what this tells us is we don't have a bandwidth issue. There is a one gigabit link and we can clearly max it out using iPerf. So the one gigabit is available. What should be investigated? So the first answer option here talks about confirm low bandwidth mode is enabled on both source and target band accelerators. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the, there's, there's some stuff going on here with high bandwidth mode and low bandwidth mode. So in the event you're not familiar with this, the van accelerators actually used to only have one mode, which is what is currently as of version 10 known as low bandwidth mode. And then a new option was added in called high bandwidth mode. And uh, with the one gigabit link, we can uh, almost uh, guess that the high bandwidth mode is uh, definitely what we want to be using. But uh, today we, we, we appear to have some kind of problem. So what should we be doing here? Well, we don't want to confirm that low bandwidth mode is enabled because that would be potentially the problem we're facing. Confirm high bandwidth mode is enabled. Well, there's a lot of stuff about what is this high bandwidth mode. So I can suggest if you don't know what this is to go and check out the Beam user guide and uh, focus a little bit on that. But uh, let's see, this, this seems like a good guess right now. Increase the van accelerator target cache size. Ah, well, this would make sense, but when you're using such a fast link here, you want to make sure that you're using high bandwidth mode. And one of the items that uh, is not used is actually this target cache. So we're not using the, the cache for high bandwidth mode. So increasing this would, would not really solve anything. Relocate the target cache from spinning disks. Again, it doesn't really matter where it is because we're not using it. And then we could manually populate it again. It doesn't make sense to populate it because we're not using it. So what we really are probably seeing here is that this is set to low bandwidth mode. And now we're not able to max out the link here. We would need multiple pairs, multiple jobs and things like that. No, no sense in doing that. Just switch it to high bandwidth mode and then that will be it.